Let's look at the estrus cycle and what it means. Uh, estrus cycle is a repetitive event in healthy non-pregnant females during the normal breeding. And in estrus, which in other words means heat cycle, this is when the, f the female shows signs of needing the male for reproduction. Uh, require, need, when the female needs mating. Uh, and in this particular cycle, it is hormonal influenced, meaning hormones such as progesterone and the estrogens are the ones responsible for this particular behavior. Extra cycle in dose takes 17 to 24 days and each cycle lasts for an average 30 hours. Now, during this cycle, if the dough needs to be served, it must be served be within 30 hours. Uh, the reason why we are doing this is because of what we call ovulation. This cycle, in the initial sign of this cycle shows that the egg or the ovum has been released or is about to be released. Then therefore, service must be done once the egg has been done, has been released, and that is the ovulation. And these are the signs which are seen in doors. And the first sign is restlessness. The door is uncomfortable. Uh, and the other one is bleating. This is the sound produced by, by doors. The other one, which is very important, is the swollen vulva and also the mucus discharge from the vulva. Uh, the vulva, we said, is the, the outer part of the female reproductive system. And this particular uh, part vulva becomes swollen and discharge is seen and also we have the vulva become red reddening reddening of the vulva these are some of the signs that shows that the dough is ready to be served and the other one is frequent urination and this is very important but it is not common in other, other animals frequent urination this is for for the goats uh, and these are the signs that shows that the dough is ready to be served. Once these signs are, are, very, are seen, the dough can be either be inseminated through artificial insemination or mating may done. Now, what is artificial insemination? Artificial insemination basically means is depositing of the of the semen depositing of semen in the reproductive system of the female and at the vagina that's where the 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 semen are deposited and for mating uh, doors and bags are not kept at the same uh, at the same place during mating the female is introduced to the males and not the way around. The female is introduced to the, to the back where mating is done. When mating, the farmer should know the characteristics of the back, which is being met, which is meeting the, the door. And also in artificial insemination is the respons responsibility of the farmer to know the characteristics of the Siemens, she, he or she is receiving from the, uh, the service provider. It's artificial, artificial insemination is only done by trained personnel in this activity, especially the, the veterinary officers. If the doe did not get pregnant during mating or insemination, the farmer has to wait for 17 to 24 days to, to, see, the same, to, the, to see these signs for another service or meeting. Heat synchronization is done to induce the dough to be on heat. And the process is, is, a, is commonly available and also it is cheap for every farmer to do this. The reason why we do heat synchronization is because we want to have a young one 
or you want to increase, to increase the production by having uh, many doses give birth at the same time for business purposes. Uh, heat seek colonization is done by mimicking the hormone responsible for heat or estra cycle. And these hormones is postagradins or what they call in our markets PGF2 alpha and also the prostagens. Prostagens, these are progesterone. This is the commercial, this is the progesterone. And progesterone is one of the hormones responsible for heat in dose. Farmers should always prevent mating of animals or does of the same family. And that is what we call inbreeding because when farmers inbreed, unfavorable traits may be transferred from one generation to the other. And this one may lower the production of the animals and also the lifespan of the animals may be affected. So farmers should always make sure that animals of the related family are kept separate and should not meet. If the doe give birth to a male young one and the farmer don't have any plans of using that one in his stock, that particular bark should be sold. And in case that bark is to be used in the stock, proper record must be kept to know that this particular young one belongs to a certain mother and, and of a certain lineage and should be always be prevented from mating from the herd. The gestation period of a doe is 152 days, which is equivalent to five months. And during this period, there are some signs which the doe uh, portrays. One is the budged belly. Uh, the other one is reduced milk production, and this one is only for those does which are milk producing. The other one is vulva enlargement. And we said vulva is the external part of the reproductive system of a doe, and it becomes enlarged. The act of giving birth in does is called kidding, or in other terms, you can talk about parturition, which also means giving birth. Now, uh, let's look at the signs that the doe portrays before giving birth when it's almost about to give birth and one of the one of the one of the signs is discharge from the vulva and in this case the discharge must be clear the discharge must be clear not bloody not brown yeah in case of color discharge before then it should ring an alarm another sign that do shows when about to give birth, it, it bleeds, it produces that, that sound. The other sign is restlessness. The, the dough is not, uh, it keeps on moving up and down uh, when, it's, when it's about to, to give birth. And parturition of giving birth, the dough can give birth to multiple kids or a single, but in most cases, if well fed, the dough will always produce multiple kids. If well, if well fed, the dough is capable of giving birth to up, up to three and in most cases, two kids per perturation. The lactation, the lactation period of a, of a dough per year is around 300 days. An expected production per day can range from 2.5 to 3 liters, and in other cases, it can even be more. The expected production per year ranges from 750 liters to 900 liters, and this depends on the management given to the producing animal. It can even be more. Yeah. The kidding frequency is twice per every 18 months, but normally is once per year.